All right, it's time for a challenge and this one is way overdue. So let's see if I can make a crypto trading bot and let's see how much money I can make in a week. All right, so I'm gonna write a program that buys and sells cryptocurrencies for me, and then I'm gonna give it a thousand dollars and leave it to trade unsupervised for a week. Because you know, no one remembers a coward. This could actually become a real life infinite money cheat code. Well, that's the goal at least. It could also drain me of every single dime I've ever earned. But first we need a strategy to make sure that I don't go completely bankrupt. Now, trading strategies have a reputation for being very complex and difficult to wrap your head around, but not this one. Let me explain. To create an infinite money glitch, here's what you'll need. A basic misunderstanding of the most simplistic trading strategy out there. Got it? Good. Next, you'll need to show that you understand some complex arithmetics. Now, all you'll need is 15 to 20 years of working experience with programming. Do I really? No, of course not. That would be stupid. All right, so that's kind of it. And what I'm trying to get at with that is that this may seem like it's super complex. It may even look super complex, but it really isn't that difficult. Anyway, now let's build it. Okay, so right now I'm able to connect to the Kraken API so that I can actually query that database and get some information about the prices for different cryptocurrencies. What I'm gonna do next is just figure out the mathematics behind the, the actual like trend following and all that stuff, how that works, and then we'll move on to actually buying things for real. So my trading strategy is loosely based on trend following and the basic idea of trend following in trading is that you calculate what the average price of the crypto is for some number of past prices and then you see if the average price is increasing or decreasing. If it's increasing then that is called an uptrend which could be a good opportunity to buy. If it's decreasing then that is a downtrend and that is probably not a good place to buy but it might be a good time to sell. Then what you do is you compare the current real-time price with your last average price. If the current price is higher than the average price and there's an uptrend, then you might want to consider buying. On the other hand, if the current price is the same or less than the average price, then you might want to consider selling. I hope that made some sort of sense, but also I don't actually understand this all that well, so I'm not trying to teach you how it works. I just wanted to give you or I thought I'd give you some insight into kind of how to think about these things. All right, so this was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. And I've pretty much spent like a month working on this now. And yesterday I spent the entire day building this thing and I didn't go to bed until 4.30 a.m. I usually go to bed at like 10 p.m. So 4.30 a.m. is not what I normally do, but now it's done and now it works. So before we take a look at the very first try, I just wanted to mention that there are actually real crypto trading bots out there that you can use that have been developed by professionals. And my plan is to test my bot against CoinRule's professional bot in about a month and see which one performs the best. Thanks to CoinRule for sponsoring today's video. And if you don't feel comfortable programming your own trading bot, and you know, if you want one that actually works, then check out CoinRule. There will be a link in the description. All right, so now let's run this thing and see what it actually does. It would be really sad if it like just straight away drains my account in a couple seconds. Hopefully it won't do that. Mm -hmm. 
So for this test, I put in $10, and what we ended up with after the test was $9.98. So we lost a couple of cents, but like no big surprise there really. But looking at the trades, it actually looks really legit, which is why I'm I'm pretty surprised about that. And like it looks like it's actually working. So now let's give it all my money and leave it unsupervised for a week. What could go wrong? Okay, so firstly, last time I built a trading bot, pretty much everyone was commenting that they wanted me to share the code, and I didn't do that, but now I figured I'm gonna do that so that you can pause this video and take a look through it if you want to, if you feel so inclined. So, uh, blip, there it is. Uh, <laughs> now, I would highly recommend not using my code since I don't actually know what I'm doing. And so now, for everyone who doesn't feel like reading through my entire code, Here's a quick, simplified version of what it does and how it works. First off, we need a place to buy, sell, and find prices of the different cryptos. What we can use for this is called a crypto exchange. And there are lots of them out there, and most of them have what we need, which is an API. And the API is basically what lets us use code to execute orders, so that I don't have to manually open up the exchange and find the crypto that I want to buy, select how much of it I want to buy, and then confirm all the things, and then finally get my crypto. An API lets us skip all of that by allowing us to just send almost like a text message to the API that then does all the stuff that's said in the text message. So we can then just have these pre-written text messages that send out as soon as we want to buy or sell something, which makes buying and selling super fast. The exchange that I chose to use for this is called Kraken. Then all that's left is to write an algorithm that figures out if we should buy or sell, and based on what it thinks we should do, it sends the right message to the Kraken API, and that's how you make an infinite money glitch. So I'm thinking I'll make a future video where I'll go more into depth of like how I actually built this. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. All right, so it's been a week now. So now let's take a look and see how much this week actually cost me. I basically say what the current balance is and then add that to a JSON file here. And that is what we're seeing right now. So here we can see the first day. And on the first day we ended at $1,009.8. And that's actually really good. That's 1% increase for the first day. So I would say I'm pretty happy about that. Now let's take a look at the next day. So the second day, we only lost about 0.1%, uh, which is really fine. Like that's a really good loss. If, you, if you're gonna lose something in the stock market or like trading things, if you can keep that as like the highest amount that you'll lose, then you'll be pretty good. As a day number three, we actually again made some money. So about, 0.1% again, not a big deal, but now we're at $1,009.5. So still like, still is not draining my account, so I'm pretty happy. So now let's move on to day number four. Day number four, we almost made 1% again. So this is now at $1,018.6. Again, pretty much like the previous trading bot that I made, I'm just gonna be happy as long as I don't lose too much of my money. And I'm really like, I'm surprised that I haven't made any mistakes. I just made it like, like I said at the start, like drain my entire account in a couple seconds. So that's pretty good. Now let's take a look and reveal the final result for the final day, day five. Okay, so day five, we ended at $1,016.9. So we lost a little bit of money from the previous day, but overall we still, gained about 1.7% in five days. If you would plot that out over a longer period of time, that would be really, really good. So I would not say that I'm expecting that this, that my script is actually this good because it's probably just something that's happening right now. It could be that it's just circumstance that these cryptos that I was looking at for these couple of days, they had a spike or something. So they spiked and that could be the reason why my crypto bot did kind of like did really well actually i should say it could also do just as badly because i'm not like i said i'm not an expert so 
don't try to do what I did. Don't take any of the code that I've done. Don't use any of it. Don't trust my advice. Uh, but this was really fun. I think I can like work on this and make it even better and probably maybe run it for a longer time. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for this one. Subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. And um, yeah, I hope I'll see you in the next one.